Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today we are cooking Sichuan spicy chicken or la zi ji. So let's start cooking. First, we're going to marinate the chicken. I have with me over here two pieces of chicken thigh, kind of cubes like this. Add in one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of Chinese rice wine, three teaspoons of corn flour, and also white pepper. Mix them up well and marinate them for at least 30 minutes. Make sure they are well mixed together. After that, leave them in the fridge for half an hour. We are going to deep fry the chicken now. Heat up a wok of hot oil. Put the chicken in carefully. Pull them up. Make sure they don't come up together. Fry them until they are a little bit golden brown and crispy on the outside. If you do not want to deep fry them and want to air fry them instead, you can do so but it will not be a succulent because we are doing this to seal the juices within the chicken this will take several minutes around 10 minutes or so we want it to crisp up a little bit on the outside I'm using a Lagomi cast iron wok I like using cast iron wok because they are very durable and you can virtually fry anything inside them crabs even tulan if you want to without fear of scratching the pan or things like that I really like the quality of this wok. It retains heat very well, very evenly distributed the heat. And for a family of four, this is the perfect size. So I'm going to scoop this up and uh, I'm going to double fry them. For the quality of this wok, it's actually value for money. Once you've removed the chicken from the oil, heat up the oil until it's very hot and we're going to deep fry this. Just leave this aside first while waiting for the oil to heat up. Now we'll check to see whether the oil is heated up. You can see bubbles rising up rapidly. That means this oil is very, very hot now. It's time to double fry the chicken. So I'm going to make this golden brown now. Hence, I'm deep frying them again. I might stick a little bit, it's fine, not to worry. Try to separate them out as much as possible, but be very careful. As you can see, they're brown up pretty nicely now. We just want to fry them for a couple of more minutes to let them crease up on the outside. Remember to set the fire setting at high. The reason why I'm setting the fire to high is because I don't want the oil to seep into the meat. So it'll be less oily when we actually eat them. The very beautiful color as you can see. This is an excellent dish to go with beer or when you have a few buddies over for wine and stuff like that. Fantastic. A little bit on the spicy side, a little bit numbness because we'll be using Sichuan pepper later on. It's really, really good. Once you have achieved golden brown like this, it's time to scoop the meat out. Once you have fried the chicken, it's time to fry the chicken together with the other aromatics. Half a thumb size of ginger slice. Fifteen pieces of dried chili, soaked and roughly chopped up. Four cloves of garlic sliced. Smells really, really good now. One and a half tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorn. I crushed this up and roughly chopped them like this. This is going to be a little bit spicy, a little bit numbing, and it's going to be very, very good with beer. Once you can smell all the aromatics, it's time to add the chicken back in. Mix them up well. Make sure they are very well coated. Add in one stalk of spring onion. Approximately 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce and the garlic slice. The 
pronounced really good and spicy. Finally, splash in one tablespoon of saucing wine. Time to serve this baby. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our Sichuan spicy chicken or la zizi. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.